let's go and dial God through prayer. How? We begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, help remind us of your love and provide us with your love. As well, increase our faith and hope. Provide us with the food we need today, along with health and strength. Also, wisdom, which we ask in faith. And all that we will need for today. Amen. Now we recite Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Psalm 91, 1 to 16. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you, no plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Jesus, tend to our prayers. We have a message for Manuel from Fernando and Lori. Happy birthday. Have a God-blessed birthday today and always. We have a birthday prayer. Let us begin with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless Manuel today on his birthday. Pour in many blessings that overfill and run into every area of his life. We ask this through Jesus' broken body and through Jesus' bloodshed. In Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, we also ask that you tend to the prayers of our listeners and our viewers of your holy people. We place all these prayers and blessings in your hands, Jesus. We ask this through Jesus' broken body, through Jesus' bloodshed, in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go and find out what God is telling us through his instruction book of life, the Bible. The first scripture of the day is Exodus 12, 9 to 11. Do not eat any of the meat raw or boiled in water. The whole animal, including the head, legs, and internal organs, must be roasted over a fire. 
Do not leave any of it until the next morning. Burn whatever is not eaten before morning. These are your instructions for eating this meal. Be fully dressed, wear your sandals, and carry your walking stick in your hand. Eat the meal with urgency, for this is the Lord's Passover. The next scripture is Romans twelve twenty one. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Now we have extra suggestive reading. Exodus 12, 1 to 51. Romans 12, 1 to 21. An important note on the scriptures that we just read, especially in the scripture Exodus. Exodus is from the Old Testament. It is under the Old Covenant Law, which means if you don't believe that Jesus died on the cross and replaced the Old Covenant with the New Covenant, the people who do not believe in Jesus and what he did are obligated to follow all the instructions in the Old Covenant, which includes this scripture. If they do not follow all the instructions that are instructions in the Old Testament, that is considered a sin or sinning. And that means you will be punished according to your sin will then be considered under Moses' law. And it will be punished according to that law. Tomorrow's category is a talk. And the title is, Why Baptism is Very Important. Thank you to all our listeners and viewers. We look forward to you listening and viewing in tomorrow. Have a God-blessed, wonderful Wednesday for yourselves and your families. Amen.